Hey everybody. For those who don't know, um, Windows XP is going to be timing out of support in April 2014. That's just six months from now. Today is November 2nd, 2013. So I'm kind of being faced with a little dilemma. One thing I do is I refurbish and repair used computers. I get part systems from a local Google Computer Works store and other sources. And I get working parts and more or less fix everything up and have some refurbished desktop computers. And of course many of these are from 2002 through 2006 so they run Windows XP. I have to install what's on the CLA unless I have a newer product key available for like Vista or 7. But 95% of the time it's XP for these old computers. So as I mentioned, um, XP is getting timed out of support so it's not a very feasible option for <laughs> many people. I mean there's still plenty of use for these old computers. I mean I've had, I mean one of my customers was um, an auto mechanic at a local car inspection station. As For those of you who don't know, in the state of North Carolina you have to have your car inspected every year for emissions and safety and that kind of stuff. And they run, if I, if I remember correctly, they run a special um, Linux operating system for for that, for their computers. And these old, older computers are perfect for that kind of use. So as you heard me mention Linux already, um, that's just the exact way I'm going to actually be able to make effective use out of these computers. Many people out there who are looking for cheap computers are looking for something that's just simple, just simply works. I mean, you have your internet browser, you can do basic office tasks such as, you know, Word documents, spreadsheets, PowerPoints, that kind of stuff. So, that being said, let me go and show you what I have tried out. And for all you um, subscribers and viewers who have been wishing I would upload a Linux video, you're in luck tonight. So I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Let me go swing into the other room and show you. Okay, now I'm in back in the bedroom. So let me go ahead and show you something here. Here we've got this Dell Dimension 3000. This is a very recent trade-in. It was traded in about a week ago or so for a newer system, a newer refurbished computer with Windows Vista. Definitely much nicer than this thing in terms of hardware. And I figure I'd give a, do a little experiment here. I found a very nice um, distribution of Ubuntu called Lubuntu. It's more or less a lightweight version of, a, of Ubuntu. It uses a um, graphic user interface that it's not very cumbersome from gra for graphics. It's, you know, kind of plain Jane. Does a job. Tried this out on a virtual machine over this week and it worked absolutely fantastic. It runs fantastic on a system with 512 megabytes of RAM. Practically all of my refurbished computers with XP have 512 megs of RAM. And pretty much 80 gig hard drives throughout most of the machines are 40 gigs. It really depends. So I installed Lubuntu 13.10. 32-bit on this computer. It's an Intel Pentium 4. Not sure exactly what spec. I could find out though, but um, just a basic run-of-the-mill former XP computer. Here is Lubuntu installed, plus some other things. Now, of course, I'm pretty new to this operating system, so I can't really do an in-depth show around of it, but um. The neat thing about this is it's free. It's open source. You don't have to pay for it. Now, of course, I do recommend you um, send a little contribution of like five dollars to the author. It always helps. Anyways, um, if you have a look here, it looks similar to Windows. You have practically a start button here. It's more like let's say Windows 98 or Windows 2000, at least for this menu here. But um, instead of having just programs, it has has them laid out. You have games, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, 
system tools. This is kind of like control panel in a way in Windows. Preferences, more like control panel. And um, you have a um, run here, log out. Now, of course, to shut down, you click this power button over here and you get options. Let's just shut down, reboot, suspend, hibernate, switch user, lock screen, log out, cancel. And um, basically, this release of Lubuntu comes with everything except for the um, Chrome browser and the LibreOffice that I installed. And I've, in, I've installed a couple of things, but this is it's a very simple operating system. I'm going to close this stuff out here, but um, anyways, here is um, a um, video on QComputer channel, how to install Windows 8.1. And there's the QComputer Facebook page. And of course, this is Google Chrome, by the way. I'm going to restart to um, go ahead and show you performance wise how this thing does the neat thing here is with Lubuntu and this Dell Dimension 3000 I didn't have to go searching all over the internet for drivers everything just works now of course there are some pieces of hardware out there that you may have to find drivers for but um, this was just a simple install of the operating system and a few programs and done kind of thing Starting right now. There's the boot up splash screen. Now of course this isn't this isn't my first time messing around with Linux. I messed around with it a few times over the years. I've been doing it more frequently probably in the past year than ever. And we are we're already logged in and ready to go. Now of course um, by default it's set up to ask you to enter your password, but I decided to just have it log in automatically. Here we have a file manager. Internet. You see left click to iconify all windows. You have your volume here. Language here. Your keyboard keyboard layout and the clock, which is currently in um, 24 hour format. I'm going to start up let's see, um, Chrome browser. Just think you can run Chrome in this just fine, not a problem. In fact, um, the Chrome OS on the Chromebooks is based on Linux. From what I understand, I'm very well sure it is from what I've heard. And I believe Android is also Linux based too. So here's a Chrome browser. Let's say go to YouTube. This system runs like a champ. Let's say cube. Computer channel. Seems to browse the net pretty fast. Now just so you guys know, I'm not really doing an in-depth tutorial or um, overview of Lubuntu. I'm just doing, I'm covering some basic things. The most recent video here, installing a generic Rosewell TN450 V2 torn cartridge and a brother printer. Now this system struggles to run. Hey everybody, this video is going to be about. This system struggles to run. 720p graphics, this is a graphics card or graphics adapter on this thing. But it runs 480p just fine. Browse the net just fine. Let me show you um, the Office Suite I installed. This is LibreOffice. So as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the um, basic users like to get on computers and type up Word documents, spreadsheets, presentations, you know, all that kind of stuff. 
So let's say text document. Probably one of the most popular you popularly used things in um, let's say an Office Suite. This is laid out more like let's say Office 2003. But it has the native features and um we also got true type fonts finally. And um that was pretty much an update that installed on its own. When you install this I recommend checking to have it search for updates. So now you have all the familiar fonts, such as Times New Roman, it's the um, Comic Sans, NMS, Arial, Arial Black. Anyways, let's go ahead and get out of this. I'll show you the um I'll show you the spreadsheet program too. That's Calc. Again, this is open source software. And which you can save these files. Let me say I want to save this um, spreadsheet. Save as. Here you can choose to see. Um, let's go into documents. I want to save there. And you, if you notice, things are really laid out similar to one to seven or one to Vista. You have your desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public folder, templates, videos. Now. Of course, some of these aren't in Windows like the templates, but you have, you know, it, it looks very familiar. It's easy to use and e relatively easy to figure out. Now, um, let's see all formats. Let me show you all these formats it can do. Now, of course, Microsoft Office can read open, open document format files, or at least um, I believe 2007 or later can. You can do open office spreadsheet. Let's see, Microsoft Excel 2007-2010 XML, the popular XLSX format. See all these different versions you can save your spreadsheet as. And let's say you can take it into work or school and can, and finish it up or whatever. And to wrap this up, let me go ahead and show you how to get software on this. Now, of course, you can download software off the internet from your web browser, but of course, some things are not going to be compatible. So, let me go ahead and show you something. Now, of course, I installed a um, program called Wine, which allows you to run Windows applications within Linux. Now, of course, this requires a little bit of expertise to set up. I haven't messed with this yet, so I can't really provide information right now, but I'm um, let me show you the Lubuntu Software Center. And um, let me go ahead and search for something. You can browse by category, like it shows here. Like let's see, all education, graphics, science and engineering, utilities, themes and tweaks, developer tools, I mean, tons of things fonts, internet browsers, you name it. Like, let's go ahead and search for something. Like, let's say, paint. Just for the heck of it. And you can see all these um, little programs. Now, the, the thing here is, many of these um, programs are open source programs. But there are quite a few software titles that run on Windows that are um, that authors also make for Linux, like let's say GIMP Image Editor, which is very powerful. I don't know if I've installed this yet or not. No, I haven't. So we'll see. Add to Apps Basket. Go to Apps Basket and just click Install Packages, and it's going to install all this stuff too, which is required by GIMP. Install Packages. If you notice something here, don't this look familiar? That looks like user account control on Windows, wouldn't you say? Now it's downloading the packages, installing them.
Now, of course, performance will vary on the specs of your computer. Now, if you're on a high-end system um, that has good graphics, a very good processor, like let's say a um, system like 60, let's see, 64 um, bit system with I don't know three or four gigs of RAM, and you just don't want to run Windows anymore, you'd rather run Linux. I would recommend Ubuntu, <clears throat> which is very nice. The I mean the other I forget the exact um, theme it has. Requires a bit more graphics power, and it's a little bit different than this, but it's very nice. Okay, the um, GIMP ed image editor is now installed. We're going to close this out. Click on this button here. Go to graphics, and there it is. And for those of you who use GIMP, here it is. Now, of course, this monitor is not very, very big, so this stuff is kind of squ squeezed in. Anyways, that being said, I'm going to close this out. This concludes. A little overview of um, Lubuntu. So yeah, anyways, um, all those old computers that have Windows XP, I'm going to be giving this a try on and see how they sell. So anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.